begin a few things first. For your safety, please remain fully seated in one spot with all those hands, arms, feet, legs, and fingers inside this boat. And parents, please supervise your children. Sorry, story doesn't take any unexpected turns. Now, most people travel to magical places through pages of a book. But for those who do it in person, whether it be down a rabbit hole or sprinkled with a little bit of pixie dust, they can find it quite magical. Or even menacing. But don't worry, folks. Not a peer for going through the jaws of Monster the Whale. The very same whale that swallowed Pinocchio. We're actually being transported to a magical place called Storybook Land. Of course, if you thought Monstro was scary, in the cave coming up to your left hand side is the home of the big bad wolf. He's constantly after the three little pigs who lovely live across the water in their three houses. One made out of straw, one made out of sticks, and one made out of guaranteed wolf-proof bricks. Now, just around the river bend, coming up to your left hand side is the quaint English village that's home to Alice. Where one golden afternoon, she chased the white rabbit and fell down the rabbit hole. And fell down, down, down into one river. Of course, things got curious during the curious of the fair. There are many fascinating places here in Storybook Land that inspire storytellers. Places like London Park, off to your right, where Peter Pan, John, Wendy, and Michael Darling first flew, with the help of Tinkerbell's Pixie Dust, off to Netherland, where they never ever have to grow up. Or places like Agrabah, straight ahead, a city of mystery and enchantment where a street rat named Aladdin first bumped into Princess Jasmine in the marketplace and stole her heart. Though they come from two separate worlds, thanks to the power of love and the help of a blue genie, they were married and now live in the Sultan's Palace. These magical places here is where love shines, like the twinkling lights in the archways above us. The very same ones that allowed an adjustment sort over sideways and under on their first magic carpet ride to a whole new world. All of our stories here are filled with love and light, but they have their dark places as well. Places like the Cave of Wonder straight ahead. Its treasure bears a curse that can only be lifted by the genie of the lamp. Legend has it, once the genie is set free from that lamp, he'll grant three whole wishes. Now let's all try and make a wish and see if it comes true. Snow White made a wish for safety after she fled the evil queen and came across the cozy forest cottage that's off to your right. It's the home of the seven dwarves who offer her shelter and thanks for her kindness. And beyond that, their diamond mind where they like to whistle while they work. And Cinderella made a wish to go to the ball, but her wicked stepmother forbade it and locked her up in the blue roof chateau that's off to your left. Thanks to her fairy godmother, she was able to attend. But since she didn't leave by midnight, her carriage turned back into a pumpkin. And it's still there, up on that bridge. While well, magic has its limits, thankfully love does not. And now Cinderella and her prince live happily ever after in their castle atop the hill. Like Cinderella once said, a dream is a wish that your heart makes. Whether those be dreams of happily ever after, or literal dreams inspired by bedtime stories that the babies off the streets on hills with both the flowers. Like that off to your left, which was inspired by the 1933 Silly Symphony cartoon Lullaby Land. There's magic everywhere here in Storybook Land. Even in the plants made small with the help of Rosetta's pixie dust, so they never ever have to grow up. Just like the Lost Boys of Neverland. And this part is one of the reasons why it was the ultimate favorite of master storyteller Walt Disney. And still inspires stories to this day. Such stories like The Wind in the Willows. With Mr. Mole on his modest home front on the water's edge that's coming up to your left with his neighbor, Mr. Toad of Toad Hall. But sorry folks, Jay Thaddeus Toad isn't home right now, for he's in his motor car in Fantasyland, going nowhere in particular. And beyond that is the Kingdom of Arendelle. 
Hasselet Bay ship at anchor has frozen ice palace in the snow-covered mountains. Their sisters Anna and Elsa meet their frozen friends Olaf, Kristoff, and Sven, and they all discover something more powerful than Elsa's magic, the power of love. Straight ahead is the Alpine village that is home to Geppetto, a wood carver who carved a little wooden puppet boy named, Jim, named Pinocchio and wished him real. After Pinocchio saved Geppetto from the belly of Monster the Whale, the Blue Fairy granted that wish. Geppetto's wish is like that made in all so many fairy tales, like the one that led Little Mermaid named Ariel, the celebrant fairy, to his castle coming up to your right. Once there, she was inspired to give up her life under the sea, take her first steps on an unsteady leg, and to fulfill her dream to be her part of our world. Ariel's story begins with a shot in the shadow of her father, King Christ, and the underwater city of the land stand up on the above. Her story, like all great stories, ultimately do, and it ain't happily ever after. And with that, folks, that is our last piece of magic here at Storybook Land. And if you please remain fully seated with all those hands, arms, and fingers inside this boat, we will be pulling up to the dock. Alrighty, folks, please make sure we are staying fully seated until I give a count of three, so we can all stand up all at once for balance purposes. So no one has to take a trip under the sea. Alrighty, folks, make sure